Well, hey gang, it is time to think about midterm grades, and I have spent some time this morning thinking about what's the fairest way to do this. I'm going to use this short video to try to give you an idea of mathematically how I came to the answer that you're going to see when you log into RAIN to look at midterm grades. Uh, in just about every case, I think it's, uh, it's going to be pretty easy to figure out because everybody has done really well so far. Uh, but just in case there are some confusions, this is how I came up with what I did. Let's start by sharing the screens and picking up a PowerPoint here for Human Resources Management Midterm Grade Spring 2021. A couple of reminders uh, that wouldn't be real evident to you, perhaps in most cases. Midterm grades are due into the system by Friday morning the 12th, this Friday, at 8 o'clock a.m. The process is that I go into RAIN, I pull up midterm grades, I input them directly by using a drop-down list next to your name. I hit the drop-down list and I pick A, B, C, D, F, whatever. Uh, you should be able, theoretically, to see those grades immediately after I finalize the screen. So I'll go in and input the grades for all uh, of you, and then I will hit Submit. Uh, and theoretically, within a few moments after that, you should be able to log in and actually see what your grade is. I imagine you probably already know what it is. But one thing to take into account when we are looking at the midterm grades is that um, the final grades are going to be weighted. What does that mean? You'll remember from the syllabus that the team leads that you do, the two of them are worth 15% when we combine your grades for those two things and divide it by 200 possible points. That subtotal gets weighted at 15%. The discussion boards all added up together as a percentage of total possible points is 20%. The professional paper is 5%. The issue paper is 10%. The project concept is 5%. The project itself is 25%. The final is 10%. And the Georgia View logins are 10%. And if you're like me and you immediately add up numbers, uh, you take the tens digits, 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 40 plus 2 is 60 plus 10 plus 10 is 80 and then you got five different five four different fives which is 20 so yeah it does add up to 100 uh, percent but when you think about all of those weighted grades remember that not all those pieces are in yet four of our five, five teams have submitted their team leads and they have one of the two the fifth team is in the process this week but the, their submissions won't be in and graded until after midterm grades are due so not everybody has even one team lead and nobody has both of them yet. The discussion boards, we are uh, th finished with seven of our 14 or whatever it is, so not all of those are in yet. The professional paper's in, but the issue paper's not. Some of you have turned it in, but I haven't graded anything yet. The project concept, the project and the final are still out in the future, uh, and that's 25, 35, 40 percent of your total grade. Issue paper comes to 50 percent of your total grade, isn't even in yet, so it's hard to figure mathematically weighted what that grade is. The Georgia View logins, we've had seven weeks that have been applied to the grade book, um, so that's less than half of the overall total. So the summary of all that is the process for figuring your final grade is going to be different than the process for figuring your midterm grade because not all the pieces are here yet. So what are we going to do about midterm grades? Well, your midterm grades are going to be consisted of the total number of points you've collected so far divided by the total number of points you could have collected so far. Uh, and though we will include some bonus points at the end because of the video calls that you're participating in, I'm not including them right now. So that's kind of in our pocket to add as a, a booster at the end of the semester. What does that look like from a practical purpose if you understand the theoretical concept behind it? Practically speaking, when we talk about team leads, these six people don't have a single team lead grade yet because they're leading this week. So if you happen to be Hogg, McCarty, Offman, Paso, Snyder, Prasad, or Jaeger, I don't have any points at all to use for team leads. But for everybody else, I've got one team lead grade worth, uh, I, actually that should say 50 possible points, a typo that I didn't correct, 50 possible points on those things. Uh, so we're going to have to make an adjustment for some people that we don't make for other people. Next, we've got discussion boards. Everybody has completed seven discussion boards. We're in number eight right now. Those are 20 possible points each. Everybody has done a professional paper, which is 100 possible points. And everybody has seven weeks worth of inputted grades at five points possible each week. So a potential of 
uh, 35 possible points on GoView logins. So what does that look like from a practical standpoint? P total possible points if you happen to be the group that's leading this week and missing some of those possible points. Hog, McCarty, Offman, Passa, Snyder, Persaud, and Jaeger, you have 275 possible points at this point in time. Everybody else has 325 possible points because you've got that extra 50 point team lead that these six don't have. Everybody has a different possibility, either 275 or 325. So your midterm grade, once again, is the total number of points that you've collected so far divided by the total possible points. So if you happen to be Hogg or McCarty or somebody and you've gotten 250 out of the possible 275, I don't know what that number is off the top of my head, but it's in the 90s easily, so you're going to have an A. If you happen to be one of those everyone else's who has, let's say, 250 possible points, eh, 25 out of 32 is uh, maybe five sevenths, and that's probably in the in the C or B range, perhaps, just off the top of my head. So that's the way that the process is designed to work. That's the way that it is going to work by the time we get to the end of the semester. And that's how we're adjusting it for midterm. I hope that makes it understandable to you. You can go in to rain in a few days, uh, certainly by, by Friday, uh, maybe even by the time you look at this video, uh, and see what your grade is. And uh, if you want to double check that, all you got to do is go into Georgia View, look at your grade book, and count up all your points and divide it by some possible number, either 275 or 325. And you should get the same percentage. Uh, 90 or above is going to be an A. 80 to 89.9 is a B and so forth. Hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, give me a call or uh, send me a note or something, and I'll explain a little bit further. Uh, it's going well so far. We're making good progress. You're getting into the groove of things. Next week, remember, you've got your spring break, and then we're going to finish strong. So I hope it is uh, helpful to you. It's been interesting and informational to you, and you're looking forward to what we got left. That's it for now. Bye-bye.